Hey everyone, Josh here from Fresh Start Customs. Um, and today we're gonna be going over the new placement of the outline, uh, like create a new outline tool, the premium feature, and the new um, ability to hide the position window that everybody wanted to uh, hide. So I thought it was important to get this out. This update came out on the 5th. Um, uh, the placement of the outline tool has been um, different since my last video. But um, overall, I think people pretty much knew where that was. We'll also cover how to flip an item, too, um, that I didn't cover in that last video, too. So this is just a quick update to that previous one. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll keep this as short as possible. So as you can see, um, I just uploaded this uh, little dog image uh, straight from here on this uh, new graphics feature. You can check out the other video if you want to learn how to use that. Anyways, we have the dog here, and as you can see, we have this giant position window. It used to be a little bit more to the left um, and take up a little bit more of the screen this, than this, too, which was super annoying because if you drug your design down here, it was underneath this position window, and obviously that was annoying. Everybody hated it, let's be honest. Um, and now they added this little button here. You just click that button, boom, it disappears. Um, that should have been there from the start, and I'm glad that after all of the um, su uh, suggestions here to Glowforge, they did change that. So that's awesome. That's the main update um, that I wanted to get out here to you guys so you could see that. The next one is the Create an Outline tool. Um, so the premium feature that created an outline around this dog here um, that we're going to do used to be up here next to the text button is either next to the text button or to the left of the insert shape button I can't remember which one you can see the previous video for that I'll put that in the description but now it's off to the right here you just click it right here and then you can um, do your you can s still use your slider here if you need to I'm gonna just go ahead and click create an outline to create the outline first and then you can change the slider if you need to make it bigger or smaller as you can see, this outline right here is now outline, um, outlining the dog, and you can just drag that bigger, and it'll make the um, outline bigger once it is done processing here. There you go. As you can see, it is now bigger. So that's the cool feature. It'll be quick and easy for keychains if you don't want to incorporate that in your design. And then the other feature is the flip... Um, horizontal and vertical feature so you can just click that um, when you have it selected let me select it again and as you can see that just flipped the dog upside down and you can flip it back so that's pretty much it um, as you've seen I think I was on the outline and I flipped that so yep that's pretty much it you guys I just wanted to get those quick updated features out there so you guys knew what was going on and how to get rid of that super annoying position window you can just remove it, click it again, get it back, and boom, you're done. So I hope this helped you guys out. I know it was super quick, super short, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you guys next time.